Proof of Work is a blockchain consensus mechanism. Stay with me. That basically just means that it's a system in which cryptocurrencies is acquired through work. This work comes in the form of mining via cryptography. Now, there's a simple and a complex explanation for this. Put simply, new crypto is minted through mining. Mining requires a whole lot of computational power and energy, which is one of the main criticisms leveled against proof of work and cryptocurrency in general. The technology behind proof of work's consensus system uses a competitive validation method. This is used to confirm transactions, add new blocks to the chain, and to keep the blockchain network secure. What's competitively validated, you ask? Miners have to verify the validity of blockchain transactions through a process known as cryptography. A blockchain contains a ledger or a record of transactions called blocks, which can't be edited or rearranged. The process of mining through cryptography adds blocks to the blockchain. These blocks are a living record of what has happened on each network, meaning anyone can go see what is going on in the blockchain. This helps keep the network safe and honest while deterring any illicit use. Proof of work requires a ton of computational resources, which means blockchain networks such as Bitcoin can be guaranteed a high level of security in return. This method is considered to be the most secure consensus mechanism out there, making it the driving force behind Bitcoin's track record of zero network hacks since its beginnings in 2009. Proof of work, however, is not the only decentralized consensus mechanism out there. Proof of stake is an alternative to proof of work. Many blockchain enthusiasts use proof of stake for building smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain, which went through its well-documented merge in August of 2022. I have a lot to say about proof of stake, but we'll get into that in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.